drama, conflict, adultery, and horrific attacks. The new series of The Crown depicts the 80s while presenting its most sensitive storylines yet. Now, we're about to dive into the show's most unexpected scenes from all seasons. Spoilers for The Crown follow. The Letter My dear Charles, there exists no greater compliment than to be called a prince among men. The show that depicts Queen Elizabeth's life starts with the events that happened in Ireland in 1979, where the IRA finds fault with Prince Charles' great uncle, Lord Louis Mountbatten. What we didn't expect the show to feature was the letter that he wrote minutes before losing his life. In the letter, he writes to his great nephew, and the content in it is even more surprising. It's all about calling him out for his open ended thing with Camilla, and he even says he must marry some sweet and innocent, well tempered gal with no past and who knows the rules. One that people will love like a princess, and in due course, a queen. Princess Diana's struggle with bulimia. Some episodes of the show even contained warnings about scenes featuring the princess struggling with bulimia. Since the show decided to skip a lot of important events that happened during that period of time, we weren't expecting it to portray the difficult battle of Di, which started when Prince Charles abandoned her shortly before their 1981 wedding. Seeing the princess struggle with issues connected to him, and on top of that, the illness is really depressing, but the scene is a significant consideration of how sad the princess was as her husband resumed his relationship with Camilla Parker Bowles. The princess actually spoke about this in the popular Panorama interview. It was a symptom of what was going on in my marriage. I was crying out for help. It's like having a pair of arms around you, but it's temporary, she said back then. The story of Prince Philip. While the crowd mostly tries to present real life events, it sometimes uses fiction in order to keep the show watchable. But the rumors of Prince Philip's adultery are, according to a lot of people, true. Ever since The Crown debuted, the story about Philip's adultery became an ongoing discussion on and off the internet, and as it turns out, the rumors are true. In the show, there are many scenes that prove something was happening, despite The Crown never confirming the storyline. What do you guys think? Let us know down in the comment section below. Prince Philip's mother, her tragic story. And sent to an asylum. A mental asylum? Yes. In season 3, we're introduced to Prince Philip's mother, and on the surface, she's just a nun that is simply waiting to lose her life, but then, a surprising revelation about her changes our minds completely. Princess Alice of Battenberg had a very sad life, to be more precise, she endured a terrible past. She married Prince Andrew of Greece and Denmark, but they had to leave for Paris. Shortly after that, her mental health became worse, so she was sent to a sanatorium. Princess Alice spoke to a journalist about her sad story the pain she endured, and isolation. But on the bright side, her interview did help a lot of people as she spoke about topics that are considered taboo, telling people they're not alone. Michael Shea covers the royal family. Remember, you are not alone. It is 48 against 1. We are going back with another word. Sadly, the royal family was supposedly selfish in order to save themselves from any kind of public investigation, and this often led to them giving up their loyal servants. In episode 8's 48 Ratio 1, it's presented how Queen Elizabeth had her political disagreements with Margaret Thatcher, then the world starts talking about it, and all kinds of rumors spread for which Elizabeth does nothing. When the news was announced, the Queen said she's not interested or involved in politics while in her meeting with Thatcher. But they also had a way of making this news go away, and this meant criticizing the Queen's press secretary, for which he loses his job so that the attention can be transferred from the Queen to him. This scene was probably the most unexpected scene in the entire show, as this was the moment we all learned how selfish the royal family was. Princess Diana's Performance to Uptown Girl Season 4 Episode 9 introduced somewhat of a very surprising event. This was practically the moment most fans started questioning the show's reliability. Well, for those of you wondering if this really happened, yes, it did. A private gala in 1985, Richard K. described the event as the present that backfired. The Crown starts telling the story with Charles and Diana visiting a ballet gala, and we can sense the growing tension between the two of them. As the performance is coming to its end, Diana decides to go to the bathroom, and she suddenly appears on the stage dancing to Uptown Girl. Prince Charles, however, feels nothing but hatred towards her, and he makes sure to express his anger on their way home. Michael Fagan and his entrance into the Buckingham Palace Well, according to us, this is the most unexpected scene that the show featured, again considering the fact that the show has skipped a lot of important moments that really happened to the royal family. We've all heard about the popular break into Buckingham Palace before, but just like almost every other event linked to the royals, we weren't quite sure how it happened. 
Oh, and the fact that it happened twice was even a bigger surprise for fans of the show. Twice by the same intruder. Diana finding out about Camilla To be honest, a lot of scenes involving Princess Diana are heart-touching and difficult to watch. Diana appears in the fourth season of the show, and after becoming engaged to Prince Charles, he goes to take care of the kingdom while Diana has to spend several weeks inside a palace. It was during this time that Princess Diana meets Prince Charles' lover Camilla, then she finds a bracelet design ordered by Prince Charles that finally puts the pieces of the puzzle together. She sees engravings of Fred and Gladys on the bracelet, Charles and Camilla's nicknames for one another, and she actually attempts to stop the wedding. It is absolutely essential that I see the Queen. This wedding can't go ahead. It'll be a disaster for everyone. Mouse runs through a scene in Season 4 Yes, there are more dramatic and surprising moments in Season 4 of The Crown, but we just had to include this one. Fans had plenty of questions after seeing a tiny mouse running across the Buckingham Palace set, so was this intentional? If yes, what was the meaning behind it? Well, director Benjamin Caron has spoken about the scene, and you'll certainly be surprised when you discover what inspired the involvement. The scene was actually inspired by Jack and Gus from Disney Cinderella, posting a snap of the scene on Instagram as well as an image of the two mice, Benjamin wrote, hashtag fairytale, at the crown Netflix alongside a little mouse emoji. Well, there goes the winner of the supporting actor in a drama series award. The King Gets Emotional Jared Harris's time as King George VI on The Crown is not long, but he surely did manage to bring out an amazing performance even in such a brief period of time. The actor had to perform several emotional scenes, and it's really amazing to see him getting the best of the character. On The Crown Season 1 Episode 1, Walford's and Splash, King George starts to cry, and the way he does it, especially with the look he gives Elizabeth, is just so emotional. The Royal Wedding while certainly not a moment we've seen in the show, and because of that, we had to mention this in our video. Why was this one of the most important moments in the lives of the royals left off from the crown? While 750 million viewers from 74 countries reportedly turned into Prince Charles and Lady Diana's 1981 wedding, the crown decided not to include such an event. Thankfully, there's an explanation given by Emma Corrin. We never recreate things just for the sake of recreating them, she explained to The Hollywood Reporter. She further explained that if they decide to recreate a scene, like the engagement scene for instance, when they do the announcement, it has to be because it's linked to something that the characters are going through. It has to be part of the story. It has to further the plot, basically. She added, the wedding scene, you can YouTube it, and you could be watching it in 10 seconds, so I don't think there'd be any point in us recreating it. Which of these moments is your favorite? Also, are there any unexpected moments that we forgot to mention? Let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. As always, thanks for watching, guys.